CDPHE and our local public health partners, local public health agencies, are investigating an outbreak of a novel respiratory uh, infectious disease. As of June 14th, yesterday, uh, we have 618 confirmed cases of those. Uh, unfortunately, we've had 42 deaths that have been attributed to that respiratory disease. The suspected index case um, was in the Denver metro area. However, that person traveled on a bus throughout the I-70 corridor, which, which has uh, uh, allowed the spread of the disease and um, created the, uh, the impact to the entire state. As you can see with, uh, uh, with the chart on the, uh, on the board there, pretty much every region has um, confirmed cases in varying degrees. The, um, the, the treatment of the illness or the, the uh, just the prophylaxis of hospital staff um, and other first responders and just in general public. Was told design this statewide public health exercise, so I was a little overwhelmed. Zero, six, zero, I was the one who architected the whole thing. I started the design process. I wrapped in a lot of partners from a lot of different agencies throughout the entire state. On the data that we've reviewed um, is that we've requested strategic national stockpile assets. This was a culmination of 18 months worth of planning. We had several different types of tabletop exercises. Uh, leading up to functional exercises, which fed into the planning for the, for the full-scale exercise. So essentially, we were testing local agencies' abilities to respond to an emergency. There was two parts to the first day. Uh, there was the information sharing aspect that took place in our Department Operations Center, in which we shared uh, different types of information and data with our local public health agency. And then there was the boots on the ground portion um, at the RSS site, in which uh, the medical countermeasure material was received, it was unpacked, then distributed out to other portions of Colorado. Some of the SNS assets were flown to RTPs by our partners with the Wyoming National Guard. Those materials were packaged and sent out to Front Range Airport at Watkins, where subsequently they were loaded on, onto aircraft and shipped to Alamosa, Durango, and Grand Junction. It allowed us to exercise our ordering process, our distribution process, and our security process um, based on the uh, exercise objectives. The materials had arrived at the regional transfer points and were being distributed to the points of dispensing. A point of dispensing site is where the general public is evaluated and assessed and provided medication to help protect themselves against the disease at hand. It allowed our local partners to proceed through their processes and see how their um, pod plans work in that setting. cool to be part of exercise play, to be part of this scenario. Whether you are someone who's pretending to be sick or pretending to have a sick child at home that you need to get back and care for. It allows communities to come together and think about what it would not only be like to be part of a disaster, but what your role could be and how you could support each other and to protect each other, help each other. During the exercise, there was a guy who was working down in our department operations center, and he said, you know what? If this were happening in real life, then things would be really crazy, right? Things would be insane. And I said, no, we're, we're acting just like we would in real life. We had thousands of people participate, over 200 agencies. It was pretty awesome. 